Then the substanceless blue pour of torn distances. God's lioness, how one we grow. Pivot of heels and knees. The furrow splits and passes. Sister to the brown arc of the neck I cannot catch. Her eye berries casting dark hooks. Black sweet blood mouthfuls. Shadows. Something else holds me through air. Thighs, hair. Flakes from my heels. White Godiva iron peel. Dead hands. Dead stringencies. And now I foam to wheat. A glitter of sea. The child's cry melts in the wall. And I am the arrow. The dew that flies. Suicidal at one with the drive. Into the red eye. The cauldron of morning. What you doing, huh? I hope that's your money. Don't worry. What you doing? What you doing? The winner is Robert De Niro, the Rachel. For decades, films and acts, such as the ones just shown, have been celebrated by the system of Hollywood. Robert De Niro's performances are just two examples from a pool of hundreds. Not just showing, but venerating acts of violence such as these make them seem acceptable, even honourable. Images and words seep potently into the unconscious mind of the passive viewer. Without knowing it, we become numb through exposure to these images. Cinema can be a wonderful thing. It has the ability to educate, mobilize, inspire. It's one of the most powerful tools known to us, but it must be used wisely. We must query whether the power lies in the right hands. We must learn to scrutinize and question the images that we are being exposed to. More must be done to create change. Change that must come from the top down. Change that we acknowledge will take time. Movements like Me Too show a positive change in the tide, but the battle is far from over. <laughs>